So welcome. First of all, we debated for a number of days, almost weeks, as we were planning and getting all this put together, should we hold this event in person? And I think we all know our answer. So first of all, thank you very much for coming out on a Monday night. Um, this is an exciting moment for the club, exciting moment for our community, and couldn't uh, you know, be more excited, more happy to share it with so many of you that are here. Obviously, some that aren't able to make it here tonight um, will get a chance to hear all about it and see all about it on social media and everything else that we do nowadays. But we're here to talk about the Chattanooga FC women's team. And no, no applause. Okay. So, sorry, I thought you guys were here for the wrong party. Um, got nervous there. So that is why we're here tonight. And I would go back to two years ago when I was announced as the managing director for Chattanooga Football Club. And it took about 30 seconds for somebody to ask me what my feelings were on the women's team and where did it fit in in terms of priorities and what we we're going to try to do and where we we're trying to take the club. No idea we're going to be priorities um, as we were working through a pandemic. How do you put people in a stadium in a safe way? How do you travel a team across the country? We've had a lot of things thrown at us and our staff, our supporters, our partners, so many of them that are here tonight supporting this, uh, this initiative and this new team that we're bringing back. We couldn't have done it without you and we're really, really appreciative of that support. So thank you very much. Um, I know for many people, some here, some not here, this still isn't early enough for, for you to hear about some of this news. And I respect that and we understand that. But from the get-go, we said we weren't going to do this until we could do it right. And doing it right means having good treatment, having good resources, being able to put together a product on the field with the players, off the field in our community, that was going to be what CFC is about. So we've had to take our time. The initial opportunity, we started working on this right away, pretty much uh, when I got here. The initial thought was we were going to have an exhibition match against Wolfsburg with the men's team in July of 2020. Claire is nodding her head and smiling. And we were going to make this announcement and really roll everything out that time. Obviously, we got into a pandemic and things change. Things change in all of our lives. Things are still different in our lives. But we put together a group that spent a lot of time researching, talking to other clubs that have a men's team, that have a women's team, some that have both at the professional level, some that have one at the professional level and one at the amateur level. How do you make it work? What are some things that you've learned? What are some mistakes that we don't want to make? So we took our time and I realized that wasn't uh, a popular decision with everyone, but I felt it was really the best decision for the club. So we fast forward to April of last year. We announced we were returning and then we start to get a little bit of buzz and a little bit of momentum. And after tonight, we're going. It is, there is, we're ready to go. So as we spoke about, there's a lot of conversations that we've had and a lot of people have been so helpful and I want to take this moment right now especially to thank members of the Women's Advisory Council, advisory board that have been so helpful for me. I know many of them are here tonight and we have Shabby, I saw Shelly, um, let me see, you saw Claire who's going to come up here in a moment. Kelly was here a moment ago, I think Amanda's probably knee deep in a practice on the field unless she snuck in in the door. But I really want to thank them for their guidance, for the opportunity to work with some things. A lot of the things that we're going to do with this team in the community, within the club, have become from have come from them. But I know they're not all their original ideas because I know you guys have been texting them, talking to them, putting information into them. And a lot of you have done that with me as well. And again, that's why we are a community club because what we do in the community and getting feedback from the community is so, so important. So now for what we're really here for. One of the biggest things that, that we had to decide and we had to figure out is you know, the branding of this team. So we're an established club. We've had a women's team before. We're going to have one again here in the summer of 22. Um, but how do we take that group and how do we put them into the fabric of the club? Because the culture of the women's team on the field, off the field from our partners, the people in the stands that are supporting it, is going to be different than the men's team. What we didn't want to do is just slap women at the end of CFC. We wanted them to have their own identity. How can they develop their own culture within our club? And we are a very visual brand. We are very proud of our brand. We are very protective of our brand. Um, and we've worked very hard to build this brand, again, as I started out by talking tonight, into a true global brand. So it's taken some time. It took uh, some debate. I'm really excited about where we finished up. And now we will reveal to you the branding for the CFC women's team. Oh, my God. 
Enough that gives the women's team their own identity, but also shows that we are part of an entire organization. It's still different, and it's showing that the women's team is something that's different and wants to distinguish itself. We wanted something that was similar and felt familiar, but was just different enough that you could look at and go, yep, that's the women's. We have a lot of different entities into our family, and they all have their unique abilities and push into the community. I like the new logo. It is similar enough that we know that it's CFC through and through. I like the light blue, too. It's more bright. <laughs> We'll have Claire Tully come up now and speak a little bit about the brain and some of the process that we went through. My name's Claire Tully. Um, I'm the former supporter elected shareholder board member and now I'm a member of the women's team advisory board. Um, as exciting as, as it is to be here today, I want you to cast your minds back to the fall of 2019. Uh, when I joined the board back in September of that year, Bring Back Women's Team was the first thing that I brought up, uh, much like Jeremy. And I was so pumped for it, and I was like, yeah, you know, we're gonna get that done first quarter of 2020 and then move on to the next thing. And then I very quickly realized that it was not something that could be easily crossed off the list like that. And my, have you tried turning the women's team off and turning it back on again approach was not going to work. <laughs> so, you know, I think like Jeremy said, we learned it was gonna take a lot of time to get to this point today. And bringing back the women's team was something that deserved to be done with time and care and thought. We had to really analyze what had gone well in the past and what hadn't. Talking to people who were a part of CSC Women in its previous iteration and talking to people who were new to it to figure out what could we do to do better. We also had to look at how the CFC organization had changed even since 2018 and how to fold a women's team into that. And most importantly, we had to look at Chattanooga and think about what this city and region needs from a women's team and how to make that work for our community. I am so thrilled to be here tonight for this next chapter. Thanks to the work of the CFC staff and member of, members of the Women's Team Advisory Board, who are not just passionate about the women's team, but also incredibly thoughtful about the bigger picture and the issues outside of the team. Tonight, we are kicking off something awesome. This isn't a women's team just for the sake of good PR. <laughs> In every conversation I've had, the goal has been to build something just as integral to CFC as the men's team and academy, and letting it grow organically in the same way. What makes me so excited is that it feels like CFC is taking what works for the men's team and academy, but also recognizing that it can't take a cookie cutter approach. So, this isn't the finish line, the first game isn't the finish line, but we're so excited to have you here for this next phase. Thank you. WPSL, it's something familiar. It's a league that matches our mission statement and our commitment and our values. I'm excited about the WPSL because I think it is the perfect fit for Chattanooga. Their mission really dovetails well with ours. And there's definitely teams in our area, which is really cool. Chattanooga fan base is just really loved going to those away games. The fact that the team could be close even when they were away was really a nice thing. <laughs>
WPSL. We are very excited about this opportunity. We had a number of leagues in pursuit of the club and of this project that we have going on. But as it said in the video, said better than what I'm going to say right now, it matches us. And I think it, it fills a couple of really important needs for our club. Maybe not for everybody's club, but for our club. We need games that our fans and supporters can travel to easy. Getting to San Diego where the men's team plays, getting up north, Jordan, you're laughing because you're thinking about those flights you got to book. Getting up to New York, we realize those are difficult things. And we're excited about some of the growth and some of the opportunities on the men's side. But this group, this team is going to be playing in our backyard every weekend during the summer. And while there's going to be scheduling conflicts and we realize we're going to work hard to try to make sure we don't have one team playing at home and one on the road, those things are going to happen. But we now have a group that we can go travel and we can support and we can be there. We can show them the support because not just in Finley as our support matters. This club was, was founded, was based, was grown into something truly special because of supporters that went on the road and followed the boys in blue. And now we're going to have that same opportunity. And they align with us and they really follow um, what we believe uh, the game at, the, at these levels should look like. And so we're really excited. We're going to have great competition. It's going to be a great platform for our players, for our coaching staff, for us as a club to grow, and we could be more excited. So where do we go from here? First of all, come up and get a picture with the new logo. And we're really proud of that. And it was an idea that was thrown out. And to be honest, the, the advisory group, we weren't really sure where it was going to go. How were people going to think? But again, this opportunity, this project, this team deserves more than just CFC with women slapped at the end of it. It needs its own identity. And when you're walking down the street, you're going to know that's a CFC supporter. And maybe that day they're supporting the women's team. Maybe they only support the women's team. That's quite all right. We're a club. We're not one team. We're not two teams. We're not an academy. We're not just a foundation. We're an entire family. So when you see somebody walking down the street, you know that that's a CFC women's supporter at that moment. And we expect to see that logo at men's games and vice versa. So we couldn't be more excited about it. They have their own brand, they have their own identity. And I think that's really, really also important for our younger players. As we've seen over the last 12 months, what it's meant to our academy players on the men's side, we're now gonna see that same opportunity here. If you're good enough, you're old enough. You're old enough to train with this group. You could be good enough to play with this group. And we're really excited about that because we need those same opportunities. I'm a believer in role models. I don't care what Charles Barkley said back in whenever that was, the 1990s. Half of you don't know who Charles Barkley is. You're too young. I don't care what he says. These athletes are going to be role models in our community. That would be the last thing that I would end with. End with The Wolfsburg Partnership We have some more exciting announcements with this. So where do we go from here? Get your picture taken there. Slap this on social media. Put it out there. Let people know that this group is back, where we're playing. We couldn't be more excited. We do, of course, we'll have merch here for sale. It looks like a few people have already lined up. Um, and then the next steps after this will be the announcement of our coaching staff. So we've had some interviews, we're progressing. It's a little bit slower than we wanted to. I'll be completely transparent. But some of the issues and some of the things that have come about in our society the last six, nine months, and especially in the women's game, have made us take a step back. We gotta get this one right. We're bringing in a member to our family and we're going to be very protective of our family. We're going to be protective of our athletes. And so we're taking our time a little bit, but we will have an announcement here by the end of February of what direction our technical leadership will be going with. We have our brand. We have our league. It's time to get going. So again, I'll be around the rest of the night. I do not have to run out the door. So questions, thoughts, love it, hate it, come and talk to me. Um, we'll be around the rest of the staff. But most importantly, thank you for your support of this club. Thank you for your support of this opportunity that we're moving forward. And it looks like our bartenders already have the, the, the gear on, so they're a step of everybody. Uh, but again, a big thanks, and uh, we'll be around all night for, for any questions that way. But again, really, really do appreciate it and can't wait to really get going. Thank you.